with all afflictions, he shared it. Since in all their afflictions he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bare them, and he bore them, and carried them all the way of the old, all the way of their, to their old age. The point I want to make there is that it says, in all our troubles, in all our afflictions, he shared with us. Amen? Amen. That is what is called communion. In the spirit, he shared with you. In your suffering, in your pain, in your affliction, he shared with you. And then I, I go a little bit deep to Deuteronomy chapter 4 from verse 37. And he's telling us that because the love out there, he says, and because he loved thy father, he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them and brought thee out in his sight with his mighty power. He says, because God loved uh, the, uh, the Jews, he chose them, singled them out, and he shared their pain when they are in the slavery, and then he brought them out with his hands and in his sight. Amen? So he shared with them. Though he is in heaven, but he is sharing, having communion with us here on earth. And then he shared with them in this wise. He sent Jesus Christ to go and suffer with them. They even beat Jesus. They even smacked Jesus. Amen? Instead of them to speak to Jesus, they beat him. He shared in their afflictions in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 1 to 4. And the Bible says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And we are all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meat. What we are eating today is spiritual meat and spiritual drink. And this is going to say, and did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drink at that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. So whose flesh and blood are we drinking today? Jesus Christ was following them, they drink, and they eat. Amen? Amen. Okay. And then, in, the, in, in that, in still in that sharing, I went to Daniel chapter 3 from verse 24 and 25, and then this is looking at Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego when they are in the fire. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, moreover, brethren, uh, all right, praise God. Okay, the, the Bible says in, in Daniel chapter 3, verse 24 to 25, it's talking about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. And they were thrown into the furnace of fire. They were thrown into the furnace of fire. And the Bible says, King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the fire. Who is sharing with them? Who is sharing with them? He says, Nebuchadnezzar, I'm, I'm, let me read from verse 25. He answered and said, no. Okay, bring it down to verse 24, please. He says, then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in the haste and spake and said unto his counselors, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, true, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loosed, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no heart, and the form of the four is like the Son of God. Verse 6, he says, Then the book of come near to the mouth of the burning fire, furnace of fire, and speak, and say, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servant of the Most High God, come forth. And come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego come forth out of the midst of fire, sharing communion, spiritual. The Son of Man, the Son of God, left heaven straight. Remember what Pastor Agent said he says when you are worshiping, when you are worshiping, God will come, God will come by Himself. 
So the Almighty God came and worshipped with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen? Amen. And then the Bible says, not even a smoke. Their body, they didn't even smell the fire. Mm -hmm. They were bound hand and foot. And the fire, what the fire only burned is the, is the chain. The fire burned the chain that burned them. Never touched their clothes. Because Jesus Christ was sharing with them. Amen? Amen. He was sharing with them. And they were not burned. And then, I come to our beloved New Testament. In Hebrew chapter 2 from verse 14. And one of God says, Since therefore, then the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. Mm -hmm. So once you share in the blood and in the body of Christ, do you know what you are doing? You are destroying death. Amen. 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 Once he enters your mouth, the devil is destroyed. Do you believe that? Yes. yes. So whenever you take the Holy Communion today, can we start to share it? Whenever you take the Holy Communion today, we are sharing in the heaven with the heavens. And as it goes into your mouth, devil, Lucifer, is destroyed, is crushed, is killed. Because the Bible says that God, Jesus Christ destroyed that Lucifer, the devil, that has got the power of death. Amen. Amen. The next thing that we're going to do is just to believe it. Very, very important. You believe yes. that this bread and the wine that is given to you now is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen? Amen? So once we take it, once we share on this body and the blood of Jesus Christ, and I'm assuring you that devil in your life, devil in your body is destroyed. Because that's why Jesus Christ came to share with us. And then he gave us, said, this is my body. Share it. I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing my victory with you. I'm sharing my healing with you. I'm sharing my deliverance with you. I'm sharing victory over the power of darkness with you. Share. Let us share that victory. Amen. Amen. So we're going to bless you. And when we bless this Holy Communion, I want you to know and have the faith that this is now the body of Jesus Christ, the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nothing, nothing work without faith. So the Bible says that he takes the bread and gives to them and says, this is my body. He says, eat this my body to remember that I shared with your suffering. This my body was battered. I was beaten 39 times. I was crucified. That's nail that goes into this body. I suffered affliction in this body. I was spit upon in this body. He says, Sh I share my affliction as I share your affliction. And he said, take this. Eat it in memory of me. So, Father, the bread we have in our hands now, I pray that you bless it to be the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Shall we eat the body of Christ? Amen. Amen. And then he takes the wine. And then he gives to them and he says, This is the blood of my covenant. We have a covenant with God. We have a covenant with God. God keeps his covenant. God is a covenant keeping God. And the word of God says that he gave them his blood and said, Drink it. This is the blood of my covenant. Say, drink it so that the covenant will be unique. Nothing will break it. Amen. But in the name of Jesus, as we drink this wine that is now the blood of Jesus. Father, may the covenant, oh God, that 
you have with us, O oh God, be for internal and internal. And may we share with this, O oh God, share this bread and the wine, which is the blood and the body of Christ in heaven together in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shall we drink now the blood of Jesus? This is my story. This is my song. Great is my Savior. Order the Lord. This is my story. This is my song. The devil is crushed. Every sickness is destroyed. Every disease is crushed. Every problem in our body is crushed. Every infection is crushed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, this brings us to the message today. And I'm going to be very, very smart in this message today. Because we are introducing the theme of the month which is praise and worship. And we've had a lot of wonderful introduction about the praises. And we say that praises is expressing warm approval, admiration to our God. Remember, we are talking about God here. And if we read Psalm 34 from verse 1, say, I will always, I will always praise thee. Say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be my mouth. My soul shall make purpose in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt His name together. I sought the Lord and He heard me and delivered me. all time. That's how we're going to bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. And then we talk about worship. And we know that worship is adoration. We adore Him. And this is what God wants us to do when we come to His presence. Remember the three wise men. Amen. I would like us just to go straight to the three wise men. And which is in Matthew chapter 2 from verse 9 to 12. Matthew chapter 2 from verse 9 to 12. Let us see what the three wise men did when they come before the presence of the Almighty God. When they come before the presence of Jesus Christ, even just as a baby, they know this is God. They know that before the presence of God, they did what God wants us to do whenever we come to His presence. And the Bible says, and when, and when they have, and when, and when they have had the king, they departed and lo, a star, which uh, I preached on the star yesterday, Hallelujah. And I was saying to the people, to the, all their brothers and sisters and to the Muslims and to all the Hindus, and I said, what does that star signify? I was saying, what does that star signify? So I was pointing everybody to the star, and they were looking at it and saying, that is the star of Jesus. That is Jesus there. So why are you people not happy with the message? So you should be made happy because the star is there already. Amen. Amen. So why do you have these lights on the tree? Because the light of God has come into us. It's so good message. Yes, they were so I was blessed. So the Bible says that the wise men saw the star in the east. And then they went, the star they saw went before them. And until they, where the young child is, verse 10. He said, and when they saw, and when they saw the star, they rejoiced with a still great joy. 
and God's praises. They start to worship. They start to sing praise to God. Verse 11. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother. And they fell down and do what? Worship. Worship him. That is what God expects of us. They came to the manger. They came to Bethlehem of Judea. They saw the young baby. They saw the star. They didn't start to shout or whatever. They bowed down. They fell down. They, and they worshipped him. Amen. This is what this month is all about. Worshipping God. Because the star is born. Jesus Christ is born. And this month, we are going to worship him as never before. We are going to adore him as never before. Because this is what that is good for us to do. And then if we read, if we read Psalm 50 from verse 22 to 23, that is one thing that Psalm 50 says, in Psalm 50, 22 to 23, and it says, Now consider this. Say to you, every one of us, consider this. Consider this word of God. Consider it right now. He said, Now consider this. Ye that forget God, least I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. If you forget to praise Him, if you forget to worship Him, you know what He's going to do? He said, I tear you in pieces, and there be no one to deliver. Amen? Amen. And then the Bible says, Verse 23 says, Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that uttereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. He says, When you offer the praise, when you offer the worship, the Bible says, You glorify it, you magnify the Lord. And because you glorify it and magnify the Lord, the Lord will show you now, will lead you to the salvation. Remember, our Bible study today tells us that this salvation was hidden. It was hidden out of the eyes of the Jews and the Pharisees. It was hidden. Amen? Amen. And the Bible says, when you worship God, when you worship God, then God will open your eyes. So worship opens our eyes. The Lord will open your eyes and then you will see the salvation of God. Amen. Amen. So if you want to see the salvation of God, if you want to know God, if you want to understand God, if you want the fullness of God in you, you got to do that. Offer praise. Glorify Him. Magnify His name. And then you will see. He will open your eyes. And then you will get the salvation that God is talking of today. If not, you are blind. And the Bible says, if you don't do that, I am going to tear you into pieces. Amen. Amen. So if you don't praise God, forget it. But if you praise God, God will open your eyes and then you will see the salvation of God. We've thought of how often that we should praise God. We know. We praise God at all times. His praises shall continually to be in our mouth. Our soul shall make her joy in the Lord. Our soul shall make her joy in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O exalt the name of the Lord forever and give him praise. Amen. Amen. And conclusion to them, Psalm 113, verse 3. I want to conclude that today because we are still on the way. This praises and worship is going to explode, and then we are going to all begin to be worshippers. Amen. Amen. After this month, we are all going to learn how to worship. Amen. And then when we learn how to worship, then when we learn salvation and we gain salvation. And the Amen. salvation will be on our doorstep. Amen. Amen. Our God is a good God. So I'm going to conclude here with Psalm 113 verse 3. And the Bible says, From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the, of, of the sun, the Lord name is to be praised. From the rising of the sun until it going down. Praise to the Lord. Praise His name. From the rising of the sun until it going down. Praise to the Lord. Praise to His name. Let us 
stand up. Praise to the Lord, He is good. His mercy is forever. Praise to His name. Praise to the Lord, He is good. His mercy is forever. Praise to His name. The word of God says, from the rising of the sun, that is, once you wake up in the morning, you're going to continue to praise God. You're going to continue to thank God. You don't need any formula. You don't need any quiet place. Anywhere you go, at your place of work, remember, worship and praise you got to do with the Spirit. Because Jesus said that the, those that worship must worship in truth and in Spirit. So the worship must be in the Spirit. So now, anywhere you go, as you're walking on the streets, worship God in the spirit. At home, worship God in the spirit. In the night, worship God in the spirit. When you wake up, worship God in the spirit. When you go down to when you go uh, to bed, worship God in the spirit. And when you go to work, as you're working, worship God in the spirit. We had a testimony from Pastor Jane some time. The girl and they didn't give this money when he was worshiping God at the place of work and the lady was was not happy with that and he said I'm this I am the pharmacist here. I can do what I wanna do, I can do what I like. That one is nice and I don't forget that one. He said, I am the pharmacist here. So I am the boss here. So I I I, I choose to worship God. Amen. Amen. So you're gonna choose to worship God. You're gonna choose to worship God. Because the Bible says, from the rising of the sun until it going down, bless the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Because our God is a good God. Because our God is a faithful God. Because our God is a wonderful God. Please, if you go home today, read our wisdom 188. Wisdom 188. I talk about the fullness of Christ. I want you to read that. I want you to um, listen to that message. Wisdom 188 in our YouTube channel. Wisdom 188. The fullness of Christ. So when the fullness of Christ is in you, the fullness of Christ comes into you. When the Spirit, when the Spirit of God is in you. Because that Spirit, that same Spirit, if you praise and worship God, what happened to Apostle Paul and Silas? And what happened to Meshach, Meshach, uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego will happen to you. All your chains will be broken. Amen. Can somebody shout amen? amen? All your chains will be broken. And nothing is not going to even touch you at all. The Bible says, all your door will be open. Amen. amen. You want to open door, you want to open gate, you're going to fellowship. And he's going to worship God in the beauty of his holiness. Hallelujah. Our God deserves the praise. Let somebody praise God. Let somebody just lift up their voice and worship and trust. Give him a fitting praise. Give him a fitting worship. Glorify the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Exalt his name, magnify his name. Because the name of our God is so good and so kind. Our God is wonderful. Our God is excellent. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. For all that you've done for us. For your goodness, for your mercies, for your loving kindness, for your greatness. You are good. You are good. You are faithful. You are a just God. Receive the worship. Receive the adoration. Receive the praises. Receive the worship. Receive the adoration. Receive the praises. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you have sowed your seed. As many as have not sown their seed, please, when coming next Sunday, Bring your seed because we are praying every every time on, in our night vigil, in our prayer warrior, everything we are praying. We want every one of us to cross to 2022 with all our seed, our desire. That is what we want to happen. Amen. That is what we are channeling to God. And many people are standing coming to give me testimonies of the seed. And I, you know what's gonna happen? One one Sunday we're gonna give testimony on the seed, only the seed. Amen. Amen. So if you've not sowed your seed, just go home, think about it, pray about it. You are not forced. Just sow the seed from your heart. And then bring it on Sunday. And then we're going to bless you. We're going to put it in the heap of all the people that have sowed the seed. So now, what I want us to do is to begin to 
praise God for the seed that you sowed. Begin to praise God for it and begin to worship God and say, God, I receive it. It is mine. I thank you from the rising of the sun. Father, from the sowing of my seed, I give you praise. From the sowing of my seed, I give you worship. From the, from the offering that I give, from the beginning of my offering, from the tithes that I give, I give you praise. I worship you. I magnify your name. You are a great God. You are a great God. You are a faithful and a just God. You are wonderful. You are mighty. You are great. You are marvelous. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to listen to this. When the wise men came to where Jesus Christ was, they bowed down, they fell, they worshipped him. And when they worshipped him, then they bring out their gifts. They give him gold, frankincense, and men. Amen. Amen. Telling you what you're going to be doing in the house of God. When you come, you worship God. You must come with a gift. Amen. Amen. You're going to give God. You give gold, frankincense, and men. That's what God deserves from us. And that is why when Jesus Christ entered the temple, he entered the temple. No one was worshiping. No one was giving. No one was giving God frankincense and gold. But what they are doing is that they are selling. They are selling in the house of God. They are doing business there. And then he kicked them out. That's where Jesus Christ was very, very upset. He kicked them out and overturned their temples and pushed them out. So what God wants you to do when you come to the presence of the Almighty God is to give him praise, to worship him, to exalt him, to give gifts, give God, give frankincense, give men. Can somebody shout out because I know you? Jesus is Lord. Begin to give God thanks now. Begin to worship God. Pray to God and say, God, provide, provide gold, frankincense, and men, which I'm going to give in the house. I'm going to use it to give in the house of God. Provide it, provide it, provide it. As we worship you, as we worship you, Lord, as we bless you, Lord, as we exalt you, Lord, as we magnify you, as we lift every man, Father, provide it, Lord. Father, we provide it, Lord. Provide gold, provide frankincense, provide Mary, oh God. Father, so that we're going to bring it back to you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I glorify you. God, I magnify you. God, I lift your name higher, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right, I'm gonna close with this, with this one that called worship song. We are exalt unto, we exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, we exalt the Lord. We exalt. If you can wave your hand, that's wonderful. Oh. Taking up to, to inhabiting the praise of your people. Thank you, oh God. 
we exalt you. We worship you. We adore you. In this time that a son is given and a child is born, we worship you. We worship for your government that shall be upon your shoulder. We worship you because you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We thank you because what is written is written. We worship you, the King of Glory, because nobody can change it. And we know it is true. And we know you are the King of Kings. And we know you are the Lord of Lords. And we know you are the Almighty God. And we know that you are the faithful one. We worship you. Father, I want to thank you. Father, I want to worship you. And therefore, Father, I pray, let every chain, let every rope, let every chain of darkness be broken in the name of Jesus. Every chain of Satan in our family, in our life, and the life of our children, be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every chain of affliction, every chain of sickness and trouble and temptation and persecution, let all those chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to thank you. Because Father, the Bible says, through the temptation, through the affliction, Father, you make a way for us when we bless you. And Father, we have blessed you today. And we say, Lord, your name is highly lifted up in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. And amen. amen. Project. Amen. amen. Can somebody shout a big amen? Praise the Lord. We are free indeed. Amen. Because the Son of Man has set us free. Amen. Let's quickly take the announcement. Every Tuesday, Pastor Ministers on YouTube from 10 30 in the morning to 11 30. And then after that, the intercessors prayer session takes. I mean, it starts immediately. It starts from 12.30 to 2 p.m. And the venue is the prayer house. Wednesdays, our Bible study starts from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. And the venue is the prayer house. Thursdays again, from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 Pastor will be on YouTube ministering live. And then Fridays, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. is our all-night prayer session. Don't forget, the 19th of December is our... Our what? Christmas dinner! That's right. It's, it's, a, special, it's a special day. It is a special day. Yeah. Wear your best robes. Parachute, whatever you can wear. Yeah. Put them on. 1,500. Yeah. Whatever you can afford. Yeah. Come with everything. Yeah. And then on Saturdays, the prayer warrior session starts from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And evangelism follows, which starts from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And the venue is Walthamstow Market Square. And then on Sundays, we congregate here again, 10.30. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you all. We appreciate your presence. We know you could have been somewhere else, but you chose to be here. Amen. To honor God, to worship God. Amen. We appreciate. You. Bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Everlasting God, we give you thanks. Lord, we have come and we have been fed with your word. We have come and we have heard. And Lord, we ask that these words that we have heard, let them be a root in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, I decree and declare that as you praise God this week, there will be a complete turnaround in your life for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in the book, the Bible says, what is this mountain that is before Zerubbabel? Mm. Today it shall be made a plain. Mm. In the field of prayer, in the field of praise, as you praise God, that mountain before you shall be made a plain in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We decree and declare that the praise of God Almighty shall be in your tongue. 
that in the praise of God, no weapon of the evil one formed of passion against you shall prosper. That in the praise of God, that you that that rugged road, that crooked road shall be made plain before you, shall be made straight before you in the name of Jesus. We declare that as you praise God this month, that which you have not been able to accomplish, you will accomplish them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We give God the glory. Thank Father, we thank you. Thank we bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let us all share the grace of the Lord together. Amen. The grace, grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and, God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and blessing shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.